guys, Lady Lush here and welcome back to the Chanel. We are back today with another episode of a speed build. Yes we do guys, but it's not a micro speed build today, it is a bed and breakfast. It's a family home converted into a business and I'm so excited to show this for you guys. It is a bit of a long video so you're going to have to bear with me on this one because I, I want to tell you something, you're going to need your tea for this one guys so you may as well get your tea ready, get your water ready, let's get cracking. You might need some biscuits with that one too, maybe some chips, whatever you got going. Get comfy, get comfy. It's a long one. So this build is a Victorian, a British Victorian home converted into a bed and breakfast for the waifs and strays out there in the world. This build was inspired by the Let's Play that I'm doing at the moment. Well, one of them, because I've got kind of a few going on, not going to lie. But my eco lifestyle Let's Play, where my main character... Anita Solano was abandoned and stranded with nowhere to go and it inspired me to make a bed and breakfast because maybe if one of these was about you know she could have maybe not been in the situation that she is currently in I will leave a link for that video if you do want to check that out if you're new to my channel um, but yeah this build is it's going to be a bed and breakfast we're going to try and keep a lot of the Victorian style on the outside but on the inside we're gonna modernize it a little bit but there's a story behind this and I want you guys to help me with this story because I'm gonna need some sims because I want to place this in my world I'm gonna need some sims or a sim family to run this business and um, the logic behind this is that this was built in the Victorian times um, very old school rustic looking place and then all of a sudden it got modernized by generation after generation um, but to respect the founders they never wanted to change the exterior especially or some of the things within the house like the living room I remember what you told me grandma so there's certain areas like we've got, we have a lounge in here that will be um, very much how it was when they originally moved in a few bits have been changed the public are allowed to go in there and chill and hang out but it is it's there's some areas that have not been touched and I'll let you see for yourself if I've done it right I hope I have I've given it that flair of modern meets Victorian um, yeah as I said if you guys could make me a family to move in and own this restaurant they will be featured in my let's play um, if you could put your family in the gallery under hashtag lush b and b then I would more than be happy and love to see what you come up with I am on the PlayStation so I won't be able to have any CC unfortunately um, so you CCers out there this is a challenge for yourselves can you make a Victorian family <laughs> And they don't necessarily have to be Victorian, but maybe an elderly couple that's still holding on to their roots, where the younger ones, you know, they're still, they're moving with the time. So a nice mix of a family. Um, and I'll be having a look around and putting those into my Let's Play. If I get nothing, then I will make them myself. Damn it, I'll make them myself. But I thought it'd be a really good way for you create simmers out there to, to get involved and collab on this build and my let's play by getting your your character in there so if you have any ideas please try it for yourselves and let me know if you do um, join my discord uh, I'll leave there's a link in the description join the discord say I'm a do this girl I'm a do this or on Twitter wherever let me know if you're down for this because I think it'll be really good fun um, they say the there's gonna be certain areas in this house that are very much old school like we have a reception area I'm trying to keep everything with the dark woods and the dark tones and the kitchen as well I try to keep that as homey as possible but the other more communal areas we've modernized them a little bit so in which you'll see for yourself and um, because this is quite a long video 
I don't know if I'm gonna talk all the way through it. You might be like, Liz, could you just shut the hell up just one time? <laughs> just one time? I'm like, alright guys, alright. But I will tell you something, I played around with stuff in this build. I played around with the making sinks, seating areas. Oh, there was so much stuff. I had, I had so much fun trying to make things work that are not supposed to work and I think that's been my thing recently is just exploring outside of the box and I, I can't wait for you guys to see that and let me know what you think I'm trying to get my interior design on you know what I'm saying guys and I'm loving it even with the landscaping as well it, I had a lot of fun creating lots of new I don't know just fun I, that's, that's a word I can use right now, it's just fun, okay? It was a big build, it was a challenging build, but you know when you're making micro homes all the time, I have so many ideas and like, damn it I can't fit those into this, damn it I can't. So I'm going to add some more larger builds to my um, building repertoire, so you can get a, a few more big builds like this from me if that's what you like, and you, you're going to have to let me know in the comments if it is something you want to see or if you think I should just stick to me micros if it's micros you want to see I can do micros because bloody hell it's a hell of a lot quicker I can chop out a micro in about an hour and a half <laughs> this one though it was spread over some days um, because I've had a lot of stuff going on even this weekend alone I had a power cut I've had no phone because my charger broke I had to order a new one so much chaos and uh, so I'm a bit behind myself so even this coming out I'm hoping it's out the day I want it out basically if not then such as life I've had no bloody power what do you want what do you want from me huh what do you want from me so um, I hope you enjoy the landscaping as well and I have made this so it is friendly enough for kids to be here too there's not toys in the build but um, eventually I will put this up on the gallery if you guys want it there as well if you wanted to turn not you know take the signs down take the till out because at the moment it will function as a restaurant um, but if you wanted to you know change those things and make it just a, a big family home you could do that because I add a little um, play area at the back so that any kids come in that they've got somewhere to hang out as well as I said I didn't put toys on the inside or anything because it, it wasn't meant like that but you can buy toys if you care about your kids you buy them some toys mm -hmm. oh. Right, so I think um, I've blabbered enough on here, but um, I said the general feel of this I like. We've got a pub at the side of the house too, because every British BNP is either right next to a pub or on top of a pub or around a pub in England. So I, I had to have a pub on hand. So if you need to wet your whistle, look no further just go downstairs there it is and there's lots of just cool stuff here and um, if you really do like this build tell me what you like about it what's your favorite part I, I think what uh, what is my favorite part I don't know I don't know I've got a wardrobe that I made which I absolutely adore and I, I've messed around with a couple of the bathrooms I messed around with a couple of the bathrooms because I what the style that I went for there was two I think you you call them the, the main bedrooms there's two double bedrooms which are the the more expensive modernized bedrooms for the, the more modern folk shall we say and um, so there will be the more expensive rooms for anyone to sleep in and we've got really cool features in those rooms and then we've got another two rooms that have more not Victorian but more laid back chilled vibe and that would be a bit cheaper if you wanted to stay in those rooms and then we have the two they've got single beds two rooms with single beds in them again it will be they'll be the cheaper rooms because it can sleep one person or we can have two you know who just come together but one separate bed so I try to think of that whole thing Do you know what I'm gonna have to shout out my fiance on this as well he inspired me to make he was like well if you're making a and b aren't you gonna need um, a utility room for the cleaners and the I was like damn it you're right so I do end up 
um, extending the kitchen a bit later on so that I can incorporate a wash room because obviously we need to wash the bed sheets, the towels and all that kind of stuff. I mean when it comes to building he's very good at being realistic. He likes realism a lot but now I was like ah oh, we don't need a wash room who's gonna notice and he's like look I noticed and he was even talking about the parking He's like, oh, so only two cars. I was like, they're the founders park there, okay? Other people, they park on the main road or go and get parking somewhere, okay? You can't have it all. You can't have it all, guys. Come on, you guys know what it's like building. But the realism is very nice. I do like it. <laughs> so, yeah, so if later on you just see the, the house getting extended a little bit around the back here. Um, yeah, just this part here, I actually end up extending it and giving it some willy. Not willy. Wally, Wally, oh my god, you know what, I need to just go, right, I need to just go, <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoy this, and if you do, as I say, comment down below, hit that notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already, and remember, leave me some sims to work with, because I'd love to feature them in my let's play, um, have a good day, guys, I hope you like this, and I'll see you later, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and I'll see you soon.